to keep the cannabis industry running in the U.S., the amount of energy needed is getting pretty high. The electricity required nationwide is equivalent to powering roughly 13 and a half million homes, or about 1% of the entire country's annual energy usage. And as the industry expands, that demand is expected to jump to 3% by 2035. Utility providers are putting out the warning, saying growers could eventually demand as much power as a small city. Experts call cannabis the most energy-intensive crop in the U.S. Almost 90% of it is grown indoors, where it becomes a constant drain on the power grid. Some of these grow rooms operate 24 hours a day, requiring up to 40 times more energy to care for than similar plants like lettuce. Portland, Oregon has seen so much indoor weed cultivation that it's actually led to at least seven different power outages. After weed was legalized in Colorado, Almost half of Denver's new power demand came from grow rooms. And in Massachusetts, a tenth of the state's total power usage now goes towards growing weed indoors. It's an issue the National Conference of State Legislators is keeping an eye on. This group of lawmakers has said the link between cannabis cultivation and energy consumption is something that's becoming increasingly relevant to their legislative agenda, especially as the number of states legalizing marijuana continues to grow.